Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a skyline silhouette in Adobe Illustrator CC. We're going to be taking an image of a skyline and converting it into a vector using the live trace feature. With that, let's get started. To follow this tutorial, you need an image with three properties. It has to have a skyline, the background can't be too busy, so you want to find something with a very blue sky, and the image can't be huge. So don't get some 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. This is 1920 by 1080 pixels and the skyline of the city of Chicago. With that, select your image, press Control C and Control Shift V. You want two copies of this image. Next, select your image, which is on top, and go up here to Image Trace. And there's a little button right here, it says Tracing Presets. You can click on that and choose any one of these uh, options right here. We're gonna modify them completely in the next step. So I'm just gonna choose black and white logo to start with. You click that, give it a second while your computer refines it, and you're gonna get a messy situation just like this. No worries, I'm gonna show you how to refine this and make this silhouette. So after we've done that, we can go up here and we see there's a new option. It says Image Trace Panel. If we click on that, we get our box right here. There's another button right here, press advance, and that's what we wanna do. And now we're ready to start doing, working with our image. So again, make sure your image is selected and it doesn't matter what preset we're using, but I want you to use these options. In the view, I want you to click on tracing result initially. The mode should be black and white. And then we're gonna play with our threshold. So I'm gonna show you what happens. If we put a threshold of zero, you see everything's completely white. As we start increasing it, we start to see more and more of the image being built up. And every single time you move it, it's gonna to have to recalculate a bit. So we're starting to see the skyline and we wanna continue doing this until we get more and more detail in the skyline and not too much detail in the clouds. We don't have to worry about this. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. And to make sure you know you've done enough, you can click on the tracing result and just go tracing result with outlines and you can see how much of these buildings have been traced okay so we see that we do have most of the buildings some of them have been skipped so we can increase the threshold maybe a tiny bit more there we go now we're starting to collect all the buildings and you want to make sure that we're not going off into the background there and you want to make sure that these colors don't touch there do it a tiny bit more and we can, we can work with this. We'll refine this in just a second. Okay, the next thing we're gonna go is we're gonna play with the paths. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So if you have very low paths, you see that these lines don't really match up with the image lines. We don't want that. We want a very high path. So if we bring this up, we see now we start to see very smooth paths. Make that go a bit higher. And you have sharp shapes now. That's exactly what we're looking for. And at 100%, you get kind of squiggly lines. So we can drop that a bit. So we have kind of more rounded shapes in some of the windows, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play with our corners. And again, if you bring this down to zero, you can get kind of rounded shapes. If we bring this up corners, the effect is a bit less pronounced, but I find very high corners uh, gives me kind of better shapes like here, we can compare. This building right here it makes it a bit straighter along the edges right here next point is your noise and your noise is how much detail so for instance let's uh, zoom into here i think we'll see it if we put noise to one we see all of the little windows and little speckles that are starting to appear if we don't want any of that and we just want pure silhouette we can bring this noise to quite high and we see we lose a lot of that detail. Bring it to that. We should lose that. Yes, yeah, so now we just kind of have the skyline. Honestly, I like having a little bit of this, so I'm going to bring it down a bit because it looks kind of more interesting that you have these little speckled appearances, like so. This method right here, you want it to be a butting and not overlapping, and you want to create fills and snap curves to lines. These are generally checked, but make sure that they're checked right there. Now, I'm missing some of the buildings here, so I'm gonna try to work with my threshold a bit more by increasing the threshold, see if we can capture them. But I see that we're starting to get hit right here, so we have to drop that down again. 
how much can we bring this up? 54. Ooh, 54 is a tiny bit too much. 52. I think that's that's a bit better to work with. Okay, so to get some of these little features like these little lines up here, you can actually click on create strokes. And you see some of the lines actually appear in some of these buildings. You get some funny little shapes right here, but don't worry too much about them. Uh, we can reduce the thickness of the stroke. So let's bring it down to a four or something like that. And now make sure that some of these lines aren't just crazy thick as we saw before. To see what our result looks like right now, we can click on our tracing result and just click on that. And now we have a pretty cool looking skyline. There's some kind of nifty little features up here. This is gonna be random with every single image. Um, they're easy to fix and I can show you how to fix them in just a moment. But generally that's uh, that's looking okay. So we were at 152. If we reduce this, does it look any different? You start to get a bit more sh shapes and features. That's also okay. So it's up to you how you want to play with this. What kind of features that you see. Again, if you see options, features right here, you don't have to worry about it too much. But that's okay. So once you're done, say we're happy with this result, looks kind of neat. We're just gonna close this. We're gonna select our image right here and you're gonna click expand. And now we've expanded our image. Then select the sky, which is separate from the shape. And this is where it's important that it doesn't touch. We select that, right click, go ungroup, select it again and press delete. And now we see some of the sky that appears from uh, our image from behind. We can just turn that off for a moment. Okay, good. Now to get rid of some of these little shapes down here, all you have to do is you can press M. So that makes your uh, rectangle tool. Select that, then select both shapes like that. Go into your pathfinder and press unite. And now you don't see any of those shapes like that. You can do the same thing with these bits up here. We can select them, press delete. Select these, press delete. And there you have it. You've made your, your skyline. It's really that simple. And so every single time you do this, obviously you're gonna get a different effect and you can resize it. If we select everything, you can resize it to make it shorter or make it stand out more. And of course, don't worry if you want more skyline, we can just move it down like that. But effectively, there you go. You've just made a skyline. It's really simple. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, I hope you can do some really cool effects with this and you learned how to use the image trace. Definitely experiment. You're gonna have different results every single time you do this. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe, share this video. And of course, as always, have a great day.